both teams have produced lead changes. So it's setting up for last possession wins the way it's going again. <laughs> it always plays out that way. I don't know why it feels like, to me, there's a chance that this actually, the defense weirdly might step up and stop the quarterback who has it last in this game instead of the quarterback delivering the blow. Okay, uh, uh, Romo Stradamos. <laughs> Something to look out for, I believe. Let's take a look at next-gen staff, powered by AWS. And uh, not surprising, but gosh, and we know Joe Brady told us he gets him into the game too early. He almost wants to get that hit and get going. And boy, has he been into it tonight. Dix lining up in the backfield. We saw this once in the first half, and they handed it to him. This time they fake it. And Josh Allen takes off for eight. These plays, as they foreshadowed that, that was Rickoff Stradamos. Jim Rickoff, our producer, my colonel, our director. Ryan Galvin and Justin Haley. Eric Spitzer, our AD, is doing a heck of a job here, giving you all the angles and shots as Cook is just stopped there. My tranquil. What an outstanding. You really thought they'd come out and throw and try and get the emotion and throw a touchdown right there and way to be patient and good job. What a perfect blocking scheme on the edge. All three guys outside pinned their defender, pushed out, but this could be a call that... Let's bring in the guy that's officiated Super Bowls and help us here. The ruling on the field or the runner being down by contact short of the goal line is being challenged by Buffalo. Oh, this is close. The question is, is he down before the ball is moving? Here comes the call. Oh, you can tell by the crowd, Jim. The ball came loose in the player's possession before it's hit the ground. The ball then rolled through the end zone. It is a touchback. It's Buffalo's ball. First down. Boy, a trick play near the goal line. Will haunt the Chiefs. Hardman fumbles. Gene? Yeah, I think it's a great job by replay, too. Poyer does a great job of, of not... That is surprising. Small margins of error. Again, the State Farm postgame show is coming up right after this one. JB and all the crew wrap things up on the divisional weekend. The State Farm postgame show. Again, the winner heads to Baltimore for the AFC title game. Such a clean game, right? And then all of a sudden, over these last five yeah. minutes, it's like so much. It's the nerves. It's the tension. Got it. Coverage down the field. You can see 33, Neal running with him the whole time. And you get time. Floyd pressures inside. Mahomes trying to extend. Create. Somebody get open. He does his Mahomes magic, but right now, both defenses locking the other team down. So the Bills actually stopped him twice on third down. Chiefs were saved by the penalty the first time, and now Townsend's first boot. Harvey watches it go into the end zone for the touchback. Great job of faking it like he was going to go up and catch it. Just a net of 29. Now we're down to eight twins as they start this series from the 20. Now again launches one. Long for Diggs. Oh, and it went to his hands. Oh, my goodness. This was launched into the stratosphere. And this, I thought, was going to be almost a perfect throw. Reed does a good job on coverage, but you've got a running digs right at you. Again, another crucial third down. And they go empty, which means you should get internal pressure by these two. To Knox. He's got the first down. The ball comes out at the end. He's ruled down. Outside backers. Watch his head here land awkwardly. And a classy move, by the way, by a member of that Kansas City staff. He was the first one over there to make sure he was okay. Well, Jerry Sneed was also shaken up. And he's going to stay in the game. But Knox did pick up the first down before all that. And Buffalo needed that. I mean, having the last couple drives just three and out, installing, just feeling like you're trying to just protect. It's like you're losing. You've got to go figure out a way to win this game. Hey, listen, this is what you dream of. You've been waiting for this chance. You've beaten them three straight years in the regular season. You're 0-2 against them in the postseason. You got a chance to beat your nemesis. You did what you wanted. You got them to play here. By rallying late in the year, and Kincaid able to slip through a tackle and then dive ahead for eight more. This is the guy who can really help take the pressure off you, right? We talk about Cook, and this is the other one. We know how good Diggs is, but these are easy throws, and he'll go get you. It could have been zero yards. Now, all of a sudden, you're in second and short. That's just, that's when it's about the Jimmys and Joes, not the X's and O's. He'll make it work. Well, it is actually against the Joes. It's Spags against Joe Brady right now, the matchup of coordinators. Second and two. He keeps it. Takes a hit and still stands up. Yeah, this was not a good read. You should have worked to the other side because you got two guys right in front. There's a safety right behind. And he's coming into the window and Reed comes flying down. Great to hit. Tracy? Tim Dawson Knox went into the blue tent and he was being evaluated for a head injury and he has come out. Whether he gets back in remains to be seen. Yeah, he... Chiefs have two timeouts. Bills have two timeouts. Allen fires it down the field and... Incomplete. Wow, this will be the play. If the Bills end up losing this game, it'll come back to this one. Diggs is wide open underneath. You got a crossing route right here underneath. 
That's open. He decides to go for the home run, but he gets hit right when he throws it. It's not a missed throw. It's because of the great Chris Jones. Looks so much like the Gabe Davis throw for a touchdown down in Kansas City. Saves it right here. This is a really interesting call. If I'm Andy Reid, I'm telling Spagnola, I want cover zero. We come after him. Patrick Mahomes has to touch the ball. They score on this play, or they're kicking the field goal. We're not going to let him let the clock keep ticking over and over again. Third and nine. Allen looking, looking. On the go, looking. Still looking, and it's incomplete. And now you got to bring out Bass to try to tie this at 147. It's going to be about a 44-yard attempt. Go ahead and run this right here, and you're going to find... Outside, you got guys going down the field, and he should have gotten that ball right over here and just got themselves into a manageable chance to possibly get the first down with a quick move. And now here's Bass. We talked to Sean McDermott after his one for three performance last week. He has tremendous support in the building. If he has to make one for us, the game on the line, he will. 44 yards, Bass. And I thought he would love the challenge of it. He talked about it. But look at who sends him. It's the ground game that runs out the clock. And give Patrick Mahomes credit. He played a near-perfect game, staying poised, never giving Buffalo a chance to get the ball. Chris Jones waving goodbye and dancing and celebrating. Tranquil also. The Chiefs, it's as good a performance as we've seen by them all season. Josh Allen played amazing. He had three plays that were 40 yards, 50 yards, maybe a touchdown to Diggs that went through their hands and then a missed field goal. You can't do it all. What a game. Two high-level organizations battling it out. Wow. Mahomes takes another knee. You'll have to do it just one more time. There's still Kansas City. John Harbaugh and Andy Reid. They worked together for nine years in Philadelphia. And they will be meeting for the right to go to the Super Bowl next Sunday.